vastly important. Absolutely, rainforests, I'm in. 100%, 100%. No, this is about the election, you pinheads. Oh, we, that, already? that is important. Yeah. So what, what can we do? Okay, today is register friend day. Okay, so both of you are registered, right? Of course. What you, what's, like, when, what's registered? Sean! Sean, everybody has to be registered. Okay, okay, Sean, get your phone. Get your phone, we're gonna do it right now. Okay, you're gonna text. You're gonna text the word friends right. to the number friends. 26797, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and, and send this to all your friends, your entire, your entire contact book. Friends, the word friends to 26797. Yes. That's all? That's it. It's easy. Send it. Oh, okay, it's done. That was easy. Eric said you're going to ask for money or something. I did not. I knew you were muting me. Oh my God, my pants. I'll get some club soda. I know you don't live in the same house. Oh, I think it's going to stain. Just, I, I'm getting the soda. Idiots. Will and Grace stars Sean Hayes, Eric McCormick, and Deborah Messing reuniting for that PSA to increase voter turnout for National Register of Friend Day. The day was established by the nonpartisan movement I Am a Voter and will take place next Tuesday, September 19th. And Deborah Messing joins us now. She's a founding member of I Am a Voter. Also with us, the co-founder of I Am a Voter, Mandana Dayani. And you guys are best friends. I love this. <laughs> That's so nice. How did you two decide to team up on, on Register of Friend Day? Mandana, I'll have you start. Um, well, so, you know, very early on, we saw all of this incredibly compelling data about um, how important and influential peer-to-peer -peer relational organizing is. And just this statistic that a reminder from a friend makes you up to two times more likely to vote. And that just kind of blew our minds. And again, we all know the power of an influence of friends in our lives. I, I mean, God knows the things I've done because Deborah has asked me to do them. <laughs> and so, you know, we, we kind of took that idea and tried to figure out a way to make this more digital friendly and native to young voters who are on social media. And so we created a day called Register a Friend Day. We trademarked the slogan, friends don't let friends skip elections. And we went out to all these incredible people. We actually got like the three main um, female leads of the Friends cast to launch the campaign with us. And um, we did all these custom badges on Instagram and Snapchat and really found a way for like all of these different people and all communities and universities to show up and participate and tag their friends and make sure that they're registered to vote. And it was our highest day of engagement. We had billions of media impressions. Um, it really, really broke through the noise because I think it was fun and it was so easy for people to participate. Um, and Deborah obviously helped us launch this um, from the beginning four years ago. And we've been working together and I'm a voter since day one. Deb, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, we, we, were, we were on vacation and Mandana was working furiously on the earliest stages of building a coalition for I'm a Voter. And I dove in and we just sat on the floor and we just got to work. I mean, I've been, I've been working on campaigns since 2004. I have knocked on endless doors and done phone banking and I really connected to the change that voters want to see. Um, I'm a storyteller, and I really believe in the importance of narrative change. And so I want to use my experience to try and reimagine civic engagement and to inspire people to use their voices. So Deborah, let me let me uh, jump on that, what you just said. The, the 2024 election is shaping up to be, I don't know, I think it's the most important election of our lifetime. I mean, democracy is on the ballot. Mm -hmm. um, for you, what's the number one issue that is top of mind for this election cycle? I don't think there's anything more urgent than abortion. The uh, rollback on women's mm -hmm. rights, um, it is incredibly alarming. It keeps me up at night, uh, but, but I still have hope. 
uh, tw you know, 20 states have banned uh, abortion or restricted the procedure um, earlier in the pregnancy than what was mandated by Roe v. Wave. And the fight for access is still happening in the courts. But in the last few months, we have seen a reversal of that trend um, at, the, at the state level. An example is what just happened in Ohio. So I think we have an incredible opportunity at the local, the state, the federal level to reverse this horrible encroachment on our bodies and to remind people of their power and to encourage them to get out and vote and to tell them how critical it is because actual lives are at stake. Mandana, you've said that uh, voter participation is one of the few direct measures that we have for social cohesion, the health of our society and how we're connected as a community. Tell us about that and do you, do you have a call to action for our viewers? Yeah, thank you. Um, that was actually based on so many incredible studies that have come out. And I guess it does make sense, right? I think voting is one of the most impactful ways that we show up for members of our community. Voting was never meant to be this singular self-interested thing where we only vote on the issues that impact us when they impact us, right? Like we're supposed to vote for the issues and freedoms of our friends and our neighbors and our community. Abortion should be an issue that men vote on. You know, Deborah mm -hmm. worked on equal marriage for 10 years. And you know, when you think about this backdrop of rampant misinformation, the polarization of people on social media, you know, the lack of trust and faith right now in political institutions and information, we are more than ever going to need to rely on trusted resources like our friends to get mm -hmm. us information. And so I do think this is an important moment to just reflect on the people that you care about and how you can do more every single day to show up for those people and to advocate for their rights. Because like democracy, isn't something that just happens once every four years. It really is every single day. Register a Friend Day is tomorrow. And to read more about I Am a Voter, head over to knowyourvalue.com. Deborah Messing and Mandana Diani. Thank you both, best friends. It's great to have you <laughs> on Morning Joe, and I hope to see you guys back here really soon. This is really important. We appreciate you. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. This was so fun. Take care.